Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'll talk about uh, Qvon 2 uh, Visual um, LLM uh, Performance Boost, and I'll show you an example how I'm running it on uh, Hugging Face Spaces uh, environment uh, as a backend for the Sparrow Parse inference. All right, so this is the Spaces environment over here, you see, and this is the sample document, and this is the query. I'm executing, and when submit button is pressed, then request is sent to Cuban2 uh, visual model to uh, process it and produce the response. A uh, huge benefit of Cuban2 visual model is that it out of the box uh, works uh, with OCR. You don't need to do OCR by yourself. Visual model takes care for that, uh, gets the text value uh, values for for the document and then uh, it's able to map uh, key value pairs automatically for you and this is the JSON that comes directly from the Qubon2 model. Uh, so in this case we are fetching all data and out of the box we get uh, rows, we get uh, uh, the key, uh, key values are equal to the column names from the table and uh, for the each uh, column name we get uh, value per row, like so. In this case, we have five rows, and in the result set, we get five rows. And then model even calculates for us the total value uh, for entire for valuation per 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 row. And in order to be able to run uh, this model with uh, uh, images uh, with larger resolution. Um, we need to scale down and resize the images uh, to fit the model. Otherwise, uh, if you fit uh, to the model uh, image with very large resolution, uh, model will consume lots of visual RAM from GPU and uh, it will go out of memory. And actually, there are on on the GitHub uh, page uh, for the Cuban 2, uh, there are hints that uh, describe how to improve or boost performance for uh, Cuban 2 with image uh, with control for the image resolution. Right, so we can uh, assign uh, minimum and maximum pixels uh, to make sure that the image will be uh, so to make sure that. Uh, like image with uh, large dimensions will not be passed to the model for the inference. And there's uh, two methods for fine grain control over the image size input to the model, uh, which says that we can directly set the resize height and resize width, and this value will this values will be rounded uh, to the nearest multiple. And we can define um, min pixels and max pixels so that image will be resized to maintain the aspect ratio within the range of uh, min pixels and max pixels. So we can do this uh, out of the box with those two parameters, uh, which is great. And I'm going to test this uh, as well because uh, at the moment I'm doing uh, resizing by myself in my own method, but. Uh, uh, it looks like Cuban 2 uh, comes with the out-of-the-box uh, resizing support uh, for the images, which is great. And at the moment, in the function where I run inference, which is using GPU, uh, in the first step, I call uh, array to image path uh, uh, method where image is being uh, uh, temporarily stored on uh, on the server, and this uh, image from the path is being sent to the Q12 for the inference, and then uh, at the end over here, uh, image is actually removed. All right, and yeah, so let's see. Uh, here, array to image path method. Uh, it's over here, and what we do here, we pass uh, maximum uh, width and height, and uh, we make sure that uh, we resize the image and keep aspect ratio for the image. And based on my testing, uh, if the image doesn't exceed uh, uh, those uh, values for the width and height, then the inference runs fine, and also there's not. Uh, the model doesn't consume too much extra uh, RAM from the GPU. 
So what we do here, we resize the image and save it and uh, send it for the inference and later this image will be removed after inference is done. Yeah, and, and then we get back the result. So yeah, basically in this video, my point was to uh, tell you that uh, you can uh, boost performance for Q12 model when you uh, play around with the image and make sure that the image dimensions are not uh, too large. Uh, they're in a certain range, like uh, 1500, for example, then it works pretty well. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.